Hey Canada, just going to do this short little video here. It's uh, in regards to CBC News about the, the August jobs report. Canada adds 26,000 jobs in August. Beating estimates. Woohoo! How's that for an article? Yeah, we're doing good. Yeah, winning. Not. Unemployment rate ticks up to 7% as more people enter labor force looking for work. Oh, that's a bit of a disappointing bummer there. Huh? So it's like up and then down. <laughs> political propagandists they love to play with your mind let me continue on down here and read through it because the numbers are what we really got to delve into so canada's economy added 26,000 new jobs in august but the jobless rate inched up to seven percent because more people entered the work labor force looking for work so is it good or is it bad i don't know it depends on what kind of kind of what you want to twist and spin that narrative right Statistics can report Friday that employment rose in Quebec and in Newfoundland and Labrador while it declined in New Brunswick. There was little change in the other provinces. Now, here's the part I like. Here's the part where it's like, they're not lying to you. They're presenting that number like they're just, they're not giving you the whole truth. This is, this is what, this is the thing. Lying, I guess, would be blatantly outright, but there's there's a way of, of twisting and distorting narratives which has, has every bit of the same consequent and effect of lying, right? So according to the data, there were more than 52,000 new full-time jobs created during the month, more than enough to offset a loss of 26,000 part-time jobs. So right off the top of your head, I mean, me, if I just read this into this and, and stopped and didn't go any further, or actually, in this article, I can go on further because none of it's properly explained. But if I didn't know, if I didn't go to the study that, and they didn't post a link there, a lot of times they'll highlight it in a different color so you can actually go to the original link and see what the, the numbers, the statistics mean. But CBC didn't even choose to do that in this particular one. But 52,000, so double, exactly. How do you like that number, huh? But let's just go with the numbers they're presenting. So 52,000 full-time jobs would definitely be a great offset to losing 26,000 part-time jobs. Except, now, I actually do, because I don't rely, obviously, <laughs> if I only relied on the media, <laughs> mainstream media for my information, and didn't look to try to do the proper correlation or cause and effects, right, dig deeper into it, I'd be just as dumb as the rest of people because that's what the media does nowadays. They want to keep you ignorant and ill-informed so that you're complacent and conformist. But if you go and learn what this really means is now the Financial Post covered this exact same thing. Their headline is Canada has 26,000 new jobs. Jobless rate edges up as more look for work. We're really going nowhere is the headline in the, in the financial post so thank goodness in canada we still have now none of them will ever give you the full truth but because they still are opposing teams left and right politically they're still going to try to fight each other right so you'll get a little semblance of truth you won't get the whole truth but you'll get at least enough where you can point out the discrepancies and glaring hypocrisies from each other that's what i love about it. there's such idiots on both sides of the political spectrum but here let me get to, down to that uh fifty-two thousand dollars or fifty-two thousand number here we go Listen to this one. Still, full time hires dominated the labor market last month with 52,000 net jobs created. Now listen to this part. This is the part that CBC left completely out of that. And CBC is a public company, literally. Well, government created an entity, right? Government corporation. So of course, they, they don't want to admit to this kind of stuff. But most of them in the public sector the federal data agency said. And while the unemployment rate edged up by 0.01 to 7% in August, that reflected an increase in the number of people now ready and willing to look for work rather than giving up. <laughs> so 52,000 net jobs created full-time, but yet most of them were in the public sector. What's the public sector? That's They live off of taxation, right? Fast. And stealing from the productive people in society i mean think about it your government your fucking idiots that work in government and the bureaucrats the pencil pushers the you know the order followers what do they create in society that has actually has real tangible value value to you that you can eat wear sleep on nothing nothing 
but they've created a whole lot of jobs for bureaucrats and every time they come out with another program or new government initiative yes you will get an increase of employment in government positions what but what you're doing is because governments it's forced redistribution is they're taken from the productive people in society and giving it to the least or lower productive or the parasitical classes so have you really created any prosperity in canada no it means You've only created, made things worse because now you have a larger percentage of the population that are the takers, not the givers. I'm going to post. I'm going to post the original. This, like I say, this is the financial post. I'm not going to delve into this too much. There's so many things I got to cover, but I'm going to post all three articles in there so you can read through them and see the statistics, so that you won't be confused and confounded about the reality of what what we're really talking about. Uh, the first one, well, it's the CBC one. The second one is from Financial Post. And then there's the one directly from statscanada.gcca, which is the government website. I'll post all three of them in the description of this video so that you can go through and realize that, yeah, like I said, they're not lying. They're numbers. They're, they just misrepresent or misconstrue them enough so that they can't get in trouble legally by their political masters but will confuse and confound the masses enough that they really won't pay a whole lot of attention. They'll just skip by and, and, and regurgitate the narrative that is presented before them. It's Canadian Libertarian, and I love liberty.